actually. That's a lie. I walked in and I was like, this is going to be cool. And then I walked out and I was just really disappointed because it was everything that like I experienced as a child, which should have been like a good thing, but then it just it wasn't a good experience. <laughs> So if you, it was in Bend, Oregon, so if you like are traveling there, don't go just for that. Just like, just don't. It's not worth it. Um, all right, so let's do this. <laughs> all right, so I grew up in an average household of two siblings, an older brother, or an older sister and a younger brother. We attended church sporadically, sometimes weeks in a row, sometimes we skipped for a month. It was mostly just me and my mom, as my dad worked night shifts and my siblings showed little interest. The importance of going to church was always emphasized to me, but I was never told that having a personal relationship with Christ is what lays the foundation for your faith. It was always difficult for us to stay connected to a church because we were moving around pretty consistently as my dad was in the military. When we moved to Oregon, it seemed like a permanent home. My dad retired from the military. We became members of our local community church and I developed an awesome group of friends. Despite attending church regularly and having a sense of establishment, I faced a lot of turmoil at home. My parents argued almost constantly, my sister was extremely mean to me, and I experienced a lack of emotional availability from my parents because they focused on disciplining my sister or um, helping my younger brother. I found a lot of comfort through my church community, but became content with distracting myself instead of being honest about what I was feeling. When middle school came around, these emotions began to catch up to me, and I was beginning to have doubts about faith. During this time, a friend asked me to come to her or come with her to a youth group meeting one Monday night. It was a student ministry called Young Life who hosted meetings at a local high school. I started to learn more about Jesus and what it was to have a relationship with him, but I was seeking the fun and friends aspect of everything. Just when things began to look up for me, my parents moved us 2,000 miles away to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and my sense of comfort and establishment was wrecked. I told myself I would connect with a youth group or Christian organization, but I didn't. For two years, I was stagnant in my faith. I developed a lot of anxiety and anger because I couldn't find my place, and I began to internalize those, these emotions, thinking something was wrong with me. I developed so many insecurities um, and, sorry. <laughs> So many insecurities, tension between my parents increased, and my sister was relentless in her emotional attacks. I felt more alone than ever, and I began to isolate myself. At the end of my freshman year of high school, I was told we would be moving again, only this time about 30 minutes south. Instead of feeling, um, instead of feeling dread, I felt immense, an immense wave of relief. My new school was amazing, and I met one of my best friends who immediately connected me with her youth group. A lot of spiritual growth happened in high school, and I began to realize God had always been chasing after me. The only way I was able to experience growth was to actually desire God's presence, in the good and the bad. When I got to point, I needed I knew I needed a strong Christian community. The corn roast last year was pretty affirming that crew was the place to be. I actually didn't even eat corn, I just played nights where I met some pretty cool people. The first crew me meeting, I met even more incredible people. I felt like I saw everyone everywhere on campus, almost like I was being stalked, but I kind of liked it. I, <laughs> feeling known was a really great feeling. Um, when Bible study started in Sims Hall, I met even more amazing people and have secured some lifelong friendships. Woo! Being involved in a Bible study for the first time was such a transformative experience. On my own, I never knew how to navigate scripture or study it, so I just didn't. Reading and talking about scripture with a group of people made me much more confident in reading on my own. My confidence in my faith boosted so much throughout the school year. Going to events like Fall Getaway and Crew Winter Conference gave me opportunities for spiritual, spiritual growth, and, show, and God showed up every single time. Some amazing things happened at Crew Winter Conference, let me tell you. <laughs> Community and accountability have been so necessary to stay grounded and consistent with my walk with the Lord. I can't emphasize how important these things are. Sometimes life is rough, but it is vital to have a group that rallies around you and prays. I've come to know that God is always present in our turmoil and carries us through if we let him. I'd like to end on this verse from Psalm 910 that has revealed a lot of truth about God's character. It says, and those who know your name trust in you, for you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. 
If there's anything that I talked about tonight that stuck with you, feel free to talk with me after crew tonight. I'll be in the back. Thank you.